Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. So today I've got Rick out here with myself and we're doing a little uh, little packing with the rifles, but I wanted to review some of these weapons carrying backpacks. Rick is going to be outfitted with the Eberly stock. And then I've got one by a company that you guys might not have heard of. It's called Vorn, V-O-R-N, and it allows you to carry the rifles. On the one that I've got, the Vorn, you guys can see that it's a muzzle up style and then the one that Rick's got, it's a muzzle down. This is a top cover. It at least has one. And then there's the buttstock of the rifle. Yep. All right, guys, welcome back. So we've just done a long hike with these packs on. Want to do a quick review of the layout. So if Rick will turn around. So guys, you've got this top pocket here. This top pocket will hold all of your gears, pins, everything else. They have one that's a dry pouch for sunglasses that's felt lined. On the Everly stock, when you lift this up, you've got top access with a drawstring. You can also order a rain cover for it. One of the things that's neat, but it's also bad at the same time, is when you want access to it, you can pull that open, but everything kind of falls out if you've got it stacked up a lot. And so that makes you have to go in through the top. But inside here, you've got two long, tall pockets pockets on the side with molly on the left and right this is the top cover you also have some more pouches at the bottom with molly on the inside just like that so that's the layout of this one i'm going to let rick review the vorn and we'll go from there okay so you got some molly attachments here up on top you got nice uh nice size pocket in the top here with an extra pocket inside for your smaller items you got more molly like we talked about. A smaller pocket on the outside. You can hold your ammo or whatever you want to put in there. It does have the, the uh, orange for the hunters, visibility wise. And the interior pocket as well, about a medium size. You can put some you know, large to medium items in there. And then obviously you have the large top pocket here as well. So let's turn it over this way. So you got a little bit of room on this side to throw some, some uh, additional items in as well. And then you guys, we already talked about this, but you have this, you have this set up here for your, for your rifle. So there you go. All right, guys. So good time. We're shooting at a hundred yards right now. And basically, so what you've got on the Everly stock is you've got a scabbard that's muzzled down. With that muzzle down, it's good, but he should be able to go over the back of his head and reload the rifle into the pack just like that. And then he can drop it back down, rotate it, and he's back on his way again if he took that shot. So that's one of the advantages of the Eberly stock. Five eighty-five. Five eighty-five. So five eighty-five from the minute the buzzer went off, actually draw the rifle and engage the target. Guys, we're shooting at a at hundred yards right now on a steel, and so what we're doing is just trying to time the difference between the Vorn pack and the Everly stock. Now, guys, one of the disadvantages of the Vorn is I cannot put this back in the pack. There's no way to do it. What we'll do is a demonstration here. So you'd have to have a buddy helping you, or I've got to offload the pack. It goes into the scabbard, and then he's got two metal hooks. Those metal hooks are gonna go snatch onto the bar, and then now if I pull that, it will release. I've never had one release inadvertently. Uh, I've done running with this one, hiking with it, and it works great. One of the things that I do like about the Vorn over the Everly stock is the fact that it doesn't wobble as much as the Everly stock. The Everly stock, especially if you've got an 18, 19 pound, uh, like a precision rifle, it's a lot of banging back and forth. So that's the disadvantage, but they've got their pros and cons on both. All right, guys, so with these backpack systems, they're very versatile because not only can you carry a long gun, but you can also carry a sidearm. They both have molly straps on both the left and the hip left and right hip portion. And so I've got spare mags here. I've got the pistol here. Guys, I did the review on the G-code holster. I used a QLS with the Molly adapter, but if I needed the pistol, I can shoot, reholster, just like that. It's not a problem. So very versatile system on carrying with these weapons carrying backpacks. All right, guys, so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Everly stock on the left, Vorn on the right. 
Shooter ready. Yep. Almost identical. 455. 455 from out of the pack. And so that was the second shot. So first shot was going to be somewhere around 440-ish if I had to guess if he did the review on it. But guys, these are very, very quick pack systems. So either way, the good thing is, is or the thing that he's got on the advantage is, like I mentioned before, he can rehold, he can rescabbard right now, whereas I can't. I've got to get assistance or take the pack off. All right, guys, for this one, what we're going to do, we're right here at 50 yards. It's about 46 yards, actually. We're going to draw our pistols, make one round or make one shot, hit on the steel at 50 yards, reholster hot pistol, grab the rifle, chamber around, and shoot the steel. We'll do them simultaneously so you guys can see. Just random stuff. Ready? Yep. So you see they're about the same amount of time. He's gonna shoot again. Oh well. Oh, if you're gonna shoot again. Oh, right in the forehead. So guys, these are very versatile packs. Hope you've enjoyed it. Whoops. All right, guys, while we were here, figured we'd shoot at 100 yards with our pistols. That is a nine by nine Drummond steel plate. I don't know if you guys can see it there. You should be able to see a little bit of orange left over. Uh, but it's just to the right of the tree. We'll try 100 yards. Here we go. First shot. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is, uh, this is a Fusion Firearms. I customized it myself as far as the color. I've never done a review on this pistol, but um, it is an unbelievable shooting pistol. It is one of my favorites. Fusion Firearms. It's not a review, just showing you the pistol. All right, guys, I'm going to try to attempt what X-Ring did at 100 yards. Nine by nine, drum and steel. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll spot for you. Hi, dead center. Nice. Great job, Rick. There you go. Thanks, guys. Uh, make sure you get over and subscribe to X-Ring if you haven't. See you guys on the next one.